Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome to this new After Effects tutorial. In today's video lesson we will be creating an ultra modern and stylish slideshow step by step without using any third party plugins. This is a fantastic and highly unique technique that everyone can use to make their slideshow or intro and bring the content to the next level. And before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. And without any further delay, let's dive into After Effects and start creating this modern and appealing slideshow. Alright, we're here in After Effects and for our first step let's create two composition, hit Ctrl or Command plus N or hit on this little icon, this is gonna be part 01, 90, 20 by 10, 80, 30 frames per second and for the duration let's go 7 seconds long. Hit OK and now let's create another composition, this is gonna be media plus mask 01 and then hit OK. Now go here in the part 01 and let's create our background, go right click to create new solid layer, this is gonna be background 9020 by 1080 and then hit OK. Now go here in the facts and preset and if you can't find the facts and preset just go window and you will find effects and presets here. Type fill effect and just drag and drop onto the background. OK and for the color let's type this hexa code D7DEEB and now as you can see we have this bright blue color and then hit OK. Now go here in the media plus mask 01 and as you can see, I already have this media from pexels.com. This is free footage. I'll just go drag and drop. Of course, you will import your own media. Hit S if you need to scale it down and readjust it in the composition. Also hit P for position. Move it slightly down. OK. And now let's create the mask for our media 01. Hit Q on your keyboard or go here on this little icon, rectangle tool. And for this rectangle, let's go stroke to none. Hold Alt and left mouse click and find here fill color, set this to solid color, ok, and just make sure to unselect here everything and just double click on this little icon. And now as you can see we created this shape layer 1 and let's rename it to matte, ok, and let's add our first effect. Select it and then go here in the facts and preset and let's type CC JAWS effect, drag and drop onto the matte, ok, and here let's make further adjustments, go to 0 frames and for the completion let's set up the first keyframe and let's type 100. Now let's go to around 2 seconds and let's type here 20%. What we have forgotten to do is to click here again and for the center let's go to this side of the composition. Ok and for the height let's go 0 and for the direction instead of this number let's type 90. Ok and now as you can see we have something like this. Our next effect is gonna be Gaussian Blur, go here in the facts and preset, type Gaussian Blur, ok, drag and drop onto the mat, and for the blurriness let's type 1000. Ok, now in our composition we have something like this, and for the final effect let's type CC Pixel Poly, just drag and drop also on the mat, and here let's make further adjustments, let's zero force, gravity, spinning, all set to zero, also direction randomness zero, speed randomness 0 and for the grid spacing let's type 125 and for the object instead of this texture polygons let's find here polygons and now as you can see we have this cool transition of our matte layer ok now select this media if you can find blending modes hit here toggle switches and modes find here luma matte and hit 0 in the finals and this is looking really cool for the next step let's import this media plus mask 01 here in our part 01, just drag and drop above the background, ok, and as you can see now we have this cool animation, hit T for opacity and lower this down to around 20%. Also for the blending mode, let's find here overlay and as you can see our media plus mask 01 is barely visible. Now let's hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate, hit T again. And let's go to around 100%, find here normal blending mode, hit S also for scaling, and let's go to around 50. Ok, now turn on titles and action save, like this, hit P for position, and move it to maybe somewhere around here. Ok, now let's duplicate this media plus mask 01 once again, hit Ctrl plus D, and let's also make this media plus mask 01 and this one 3D layer, ok, and for the first one hit R for rotation, 
and for the Z rotation let's type 180. Hit also T for the opacity, let's go to around 20%, hit P for position and for this Y parameter let's move to somewhere around here. Ok, now let's go right click, go here to transform and find here flip horizontal. And now as you can see this is looking cool. What we can do for our next effect to select this media plus mask 01. Ok, go here in the facts and preset and find linear wipe effect. Drag and drop onto this media plus mask 01. And for the transition let's go maybe 60%, wipe angle 180. And for the feather let's try maybe 500. Hit zero and our animation is looking cool. For the next step let's import the camera, go right click, find here new and find here camera. If you want you can type here name, I'll just hit ok and now let's also animate the camera parameters. Hit P for position, set up the first keyframe and then also go to around 2 seconds and instead of this number for the Z parameter let's type minus 2000. Ok, hit 0 and as you can see we have this cool animation. Now select both of the keyframes, hit F9 and then hit 0 again and our animation is looking cool. You can leave this type of transition, but for this tutorial purposes I will select it and then go right click keyframe assistant and just hit here time reverse keyframes. And now for the first keyframe it's gonna be minus 2000 and for this second keyframe this is gonna be this default number. Ok, for the next step let's also create text box, select here Q again or this little icon rectangle tool and now set fill to none, hold alt and then left mouse click and also hold alt left mouse click for the stroke and make sure that our stroke is set to 30 pixels ok our titles and action save are turned on and let's draw our rectangle from somewhere around here to around here ok this is looking cool in every moment you can open up this rectangle one find your rectangle path and readjust your shape to somewhere around here if you're not satisfied with the result now hit p for position and I will move it to somewhere around here. Ok, now we'll open up this little triangle, but before that let's rename it, this is gonna be text box. Ok, now go here on add, find trim path effect, open up this trim path, let's go to zero frame, set up the first key frame for start parameter and type 100%. Now let's go to around 2 seconds and let's type here 20 and for the offset let's go to around 195. Hit 0 to see the preview and this is looking cool. Now select both of the keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor and I have forgotten to tell you if you can't find curve like this just go right click and you will find edit speed graph here. Select the second keyframe and draw a curve like this. And now hit 0 and our animation is looking great. Ok, now let's go here again in the facts and preset type fill effect, just drag and drop onto the text box and let's type for the color this hexa code F8, F5, F5 to get this kind of white color, hit ok and for the next step let's go here and turn off titles and action safe and let's create our text here in the part of one composition. Hit ctrl plus T or hit on this little icon and let's go to somewhere around here and I will type just elegant text, I'm using this Montserrat semi bold font for the font size 45, ok, now you can hit P for position and readjust it to somewhere around here. Ok, now let's animate this elegant text, open up this little triangle and then go here to animate, find position and also now go here on animator 01, find here on add property and find opacity, ok, for the position let's go to around minus 40 and for the opacity let's go to 0. Ok, now open up this range selector 1, go to 0 frame, set up the first keyframe for offset and let's type minus 100. Now let's go to around 2 seconds or so and for the offset let's type here 100. Now select both of the keyframes, hit F9 and open up this advanced option. And for the shape instead of square change to ramp up and for the ease high and ease low let's type 50. Now hit 0 to see our review and our elegant text is looking cool. Also if you want to randomize order just hit here on, hit 0 and our text will be looking like this. I'll just hit here off, ok. And now let's create our another text, 
Select this elegant, hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate it, hit P for position and for this Y parameter move it to somewhere around here. And now open up this little triangle again, text, find here animator 01 and for the position instead of minus 40 let's go to around 40, double click, I'll just type another text, this is gonna be slideshow like this, ok. And let's also change colors for this first elegant, go here also in effects and preset, drag and drop this fill effect and let's type this hexa code FF4800. This is gonna be orange color, hit OK. And for this slideshow text, this is gonna be for the font size 38. OK, also go and find fill effect, just drag and drop onto the slideshow text. And let's type here 1212 and 12 to get this almost black color. Hit OK and now let's align those texts. Select again this slideshow text, hit P for position, or you can use arrows on your keyboard and reposition it to somewhere around here. Now I will just fit up to 100%, hit 0 and our text animation is looking cool. Ok, now let's also create third text, make sure to unselect everything, hit Ctrl plus T or go again here on this little icon and hold left mouse click and draw a box like this. I already have my text copied, I will just hit Ctrl plus V to paste it, double click and you can play around here with the font, for the font size maybe to go to around 20. Ok, and instead of this semi bold you can play around and this is looking nice. What you can do next also is to hit here, go to paragraph and if you can't find paragraph option just go windows and you will find paragraph here. You can align it to the left side, leave it maybe to around here or you can also play around with the right alignment. I will do this center text, ok, and this is looking cool. Now select this slideshow text again, copy this fill effect, hit ctrl plus c and I will also paste it to our third text. Ok, now go to 1 second and 15 frames, go here in the facts and preset again and find typewriter effect, drag and drop onto the, our small text, ok, hit U to show all of the key frames and we can hit 0 to see our preview and our animation is looking cool. Maybe to grab those key frames and move it to around 1 second or so, but basically you can play around with everything here. And as I already said, everything is up to you. What we can do, hit P for position and move it slightly to the left side, around here, hit zero again, and our animation is looking great. All right, for the next step, let's create particles. I will close the effects control for now, go right click to create new solid layer. Those are gonna be particles and then hit OK. Now go here in the effects and preset and find star burst effect drag and drop onto the particles and here let's make further adjustments for the scatter let's go to around 200 speed 0.05 okay and for the size let's go to around 25 okay now let's go here in the facts and preset find triton effect also drag and drop onto the particles and here mid tones let's change to white and also for the shadows let's change color to white hit ok and as you can see now we have also particles here in the scene hit zero and our scene is looking cool. We can make this one smaller to around 40, you can play around with everything and it's up to you. Now what we can do is to duplicate this media plus mask 01, if you want to see it look like this you can leave it like this and I will duplicate this one once again, move it to around here and let's also change here track map for particles, I will do alpha inverted and now our particles will be visible only outside of the borders of our mask. Hit zero again and as you can see our composition is looking great. Alright, for the next step what you can do is to create another composition. This is gonna be final composition and for the duration you can go to around maybe 30 seconds or 40, whatever number here you want or animation duration, hit OK. And now let's import this part of one composition inside the final composition. And you can duplicate this part of one here in the timeline and also duplicate here in the project window, hit Ctrl plus D, hold Alt on your keyboard and left mouse click to drag and drop here on the part of one, reposition it to around 4 seconds, ok, open up this part of two and also grab those mask of one, media plus mask of one, duplicate it here again, hit Ctrl plus D, repeat the process, hold Alt, drag and drop and also for this one hold Alt, left mouse click, 
open up this media plus mask O2 and just repeat everything. I will just do random this maybe media O2, hold Alt and just drag and drop onto the media O1. I will hit S to readjust a bit more and go here in part O1 and the final. And as you can see, this is gonna be our first animation and now this is gonna be our second animation. You can also here change texts, colors and everything else. And this is the perfect way to create your own intro or your own slideshow. All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. This was really, really cool technique to create your own intro or slideshow. If you want to see more tutorials like this, just visit my profile page, my channel. And if you have any questions or suggestions, write me in the comment section down below. All the links are in the description. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe and like button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.